Better start now. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my top investing apps for 2020. So, we're approaching the end of the year, maybe just a little bit over three weeks till the end of the year. And so, if you have your, your goals for next year, and one of it is to invest, um, some of the apps that we're going to talk about today are apps that are going to get you started for as little as one dollar so if you have your end of year review or you're looking for your goals for next year and investing is on top of that list you want to watch this video so think about it um, most people when it comes to investing it used to be a very complex process you know you know there was a smart guy and, and sometimes you, you talk to them on the phone and they would take your money and manage and do everything and then came something called internet oh, so magical they brought all this investing and everything to the palm of your hand so you can actually sit in your living room with your cell phone or with your computer and do any investment that you want so if you haven't already started investing that little story there was just to kind of get you motivated that investing is not a scary thing it's just for you to start and you can start for as little as one dollar so that was just my little soliloquy. Let's jump into my top investing apps for 2020. Number one on my list is M1 Finance. M1 Finance just, just popped up out of nowhere. And like, think about it, it's this new kid on the block. And what M1 Finance has done is that it came in having pulled from all the other investing apps that came before and, and looked at all the mistakes that they made, bundled that together, and came up with this awesome app. I mean, I love M1 Finders. Number one, it's just the the interface is really cool. But I mean, I don't I can deal with poor interface as long as if I'm saving money. So I've talked about this in uh, in the previous video. You know why I really love M1 Finance. But just to give you guys kind of um, an idea of why M1 Finance met my uh, the top of my list was the fact that it's commission free. So trading on this platform is free zero dollars nada which is awesome number two is that you can do fractional shares on this platform it's just good so let's say for instance you wanted to invest in amazon it's trading right now at seventeen hundred dollars and you only had two hundred dollars you can buy two hundred dollars worth of amazon share in m1 finance which is great number three is that i like the layout of the of the interface so when you when you create your investment, it's called a pile, which is really good. So it shows you the different sections of the pile based on the uh, percentage that you invest in whatever stocks that you invest in. So let's say you have five stocks. One has 30%, one has 20%, the other one has 10%, 10%, 10%. You would see the different colors in that pie chart. You, they, it, I mean, the layout is really good. So uh, that's one of the reasons I love it. So M1 Finance, again, is this new kit on the block and you can start investing for as little as one dollar so if you're thinking of just trying it and you don't want to lose money you're scared you can at least afford a dollar to get started I'll put the link in the description below if you click on that link sign up you get ten dollars to start with I mean again that is something to get you started at no cost to you so that's something that you want to try so M1 Finance is really um, an awesome platform I I'm loving them so far and um, I'm gonna do a subsequent video I'm gonna show you guys my portfolio on M1 Finance I have a dividend portfolio that I've built in M1 Finance which is awesome so I will share that with you take you guys into that portfolio show you everything so you can see it if you want to copy it that's fine but I would advise that you do your research and build your own portfolio that fits your need so M1 Finance top of my list number two is again an old name that you've heard about before, Robinhood. So Robinhood came out and they came out with a bang because when they started, they said it was commission free trading. That was something that kind of changed the market. It was new, they kind of revolutionized the market. People didn't really know about um, that commission free trading. Um, I used to use Scott Trade, which commissions were $7 a trade. So buying and selling. So if you buy $7, you sell $7. So it's $14 to go in and out of a trade, which was, I mean, looking back right now, that was a lot of money. 
Uh, but then Robinhood came out and be like, hey, you know what? We're going to make this stuff free for you. You guys can buy and sell stocks free. So Robinhood is still on top of my list uh, as far as commission-free trading platforms. And uh, one of the things that Robinhood offers that uh, M1 Finance does is that you can uh, trade um, cryptocurrencies on, on Robinhood. But the flip side is you cannot do fractional shares on Robinhood. So if you want to buy a share, you have to buy the full share. So if one share of a stock is $1,800, you have to spend $1,800. You cannot go in fractionally, which is, I think that's something that they have to work on. And I'm pretty sure they're working on that right now because uh, most people are flogging to M1 Finance because of that ability to do uh, fractional shares and then commission free. So that's the reason why uh, most people are moving over to M1 Finance. So Robinhood, again, is still really good. If you are more kind of like an active trader and you know exactly what you're doing, then stick with Robinhood. But if you are just kind of new to the game, because the AI system in M1 Finance is really, really awesome. I totally forgot to mention that. Um, so, I mean, when I say AI, artificial intelligence, so they help you by just asking you a simple question and they can kind of help you or guide you with some of the stuff that you can get started with, what the, some of the investments that you can start with. And then as you learn, you can start tweaking things and making them your own. So that's one of the things that I really love about M1 Finance, but I was talking about Robinhood. So Robinhood is still up there for me. I still like Robinhood, but again, M1 Finance is top of the list. Number three is SoFi. So SoFi kind of resembles uh, M1 Finance in the sense that they it's commission-free trading. Then they do fractional shares as well. But M1 Finance has even a bigger portfolio in the sense that they offer your traditional banking services. So they have a checking account and a savings account. Um, I think the savings account, um, even the checking account, it's about 1.5%. Um, uh, interest rate that they pay on those accounts, which is which is awesome. Um, most traditional banks or your local bank will not pay you that kind of money. So um, they offer those other services. So if you're looking for a spot where you don't want to be moving money around, you have your checking account here, your savings account, and your investment account in the same in the same company or in the same bank. Um, so far, it will come in handy for you. Um, as far as all the other things about trading, like I said, uh, commission free, fractional shares. All those they do it and they also offer um, a really robust AI system that helps you guide um, you as, as you go through investing they'll ask you questions as you answer those questions they'll kind of help you um, choose some of the stocks that you can start investing in so so far makes number three on my list and finally number four is stockpile uh, stockpile Steve makes this list just because um, it's a starter for most people if you're looking to invest um, in, in fractional shares, they, they brought that this idea of fractional shares into the spotlight. And then for some reason, they haven't kept up with the movement of fractional shares. Um, the, the reason I don't like um, stockpile so much is because they still charge 99 cents for, for, for trading. I'm hoping they sent me an email, I think two weeks ago, talking about some of the changes that they want to do. So I'm, I'm assuming um, uh, in the near future, they're going to take away that, uh, that fee because, I mean, who wants to be paying 99 cents when you can pay free 99 for uh, M1 or on, on Robinhood or on SoFi? So that is my take on it. Um, again, uh, Stockpile, I started with Stockpile. I don't use them as much just because all the, these other guys are really coming in strong. So that's why I'm not super um, um, in, invested in Stockpile anymore. But... It still makes the list for me. So there you go, guys. Those are a list of my top four investing apps for 2020. Again, let's do a recap here. Number one was M1 Finance. Number two is Robinhood. Number three is SoFi. And finally, number four is Stockpile. So question of the day, what is your top investing app for 2020? Let me know in the comment section. And if you do have any questions about investing or just kind of looking at the different ways of investing, don't hesitate to leave that in the comment section as well. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, stay motivated.